these ancient mountains once held treasures, a rich cornucopia of animals, eagles, monkeys, even, say some of the villagers, wild tigers. But since the founding of New China almost 50 years ago, these hills have been plundered through greed and selfishness. Far from China's urban heart, a unique scientist, Professor Pan Wen Shi, is taking us on a journey. A journey to discover how he can save a rare and elusive creature. The professor is a rare breed himself, a biologist and wildlife activist in a country that in some places still struggles to feed and clothe its people. <laughs> Professor Pan Wen Shi knows how to win over party leaders and peasants alike. <laughs> the professor spent 13 years studying the social habits of pandas, a driving force behind their increasing numbers. He's one of few people who believes China's dwindling wildlife is well worth preserving. But there's much to be done, as rapid industrialization shrinks the natural environment day by day. Darwin We've come to this remote county, just a hundred kilometers from Vietnam, in search of the elusive white-headed leaf monkey, under threat despite years as a protected species. It lives in this southern Chinese province and nowhere else in the world. Finally, our first glimpse. A family of leaf-eating primates living amongst rocks and trees for camouflage and well out of reach of human hands. The cries of hungry youngsters fill the morning air. It wasn't long ago these monkeys cried for a different reason. Yo In a nearby mountain village, the peasants once recounted folk tales about their famous monkeys, of small children preferring life in the trees to life on the ground. But the stories have all but disappeared. Now the talk is of how to get rich. Hi. Oh, Grandpa Lu is one of a handful of villagers who remembers the time before the communist revolution when monkeys were plentiful. His recollections are important for the professor's research. Grandpa Lu is afraid to reveal how local villagers once made a medicinal wine from the rare white-headed monkeys. 
The local government, keen to promote its conservation image, has ordered the distiller to reveal the potent old recipe. Ironically, it was the turbulent decade of the Cultural Revolution that smashed the last vials of monkey wine. That period of destruction might be over, but today the primates remain as besieged as ever. So, the government Ever since a new party secretary came to town three years ago, Chungzhou County's prosperity has been steadily rising. The county is in the midst of a building boom, using a natural abundance of rock to make gravel and limestone for construction. The party secretary has told the county the road to wealth leads here, to the gates of the sugar refinery. In five years, the county claims the average income has jumped by almost 200%, all due to sticks of cane crushed for their juice and then crystallized into sugar. The party secretary's initiative has turned every piece of available land into cane fields, even the land inside the county's conservation zone where the monkeys live. The production team is busy planting the spring crop, but they can't stop encroaching on the monkeys' habitat. <laughs> As a result of the team's increased wealth, peasants like Nong Hui Jie can comfortably feed and clothe their families. His mother supplements the household income using a homemade press to make cotton padding. But he and the other peasants still cut down trees for fuel, trees that shelter and feed the white-headed monkey. Until recently, the peasants did more than cut down trees. They blasted whole faces out of the mountains. But the blasting stopped once the monkey's habitat was declared a conservation zone. The primates have started to breed again, but as their space constricts, their movements have become restricted. Their gene stock is weakened by inbreeding, another threat to their besieged existence. According to the professor, the survival of the monkeys is far from guaranteed. He believes the key is to invest in protection through tourism, to use the monkeys to save themselves. Dance 
For the professor's plans to be successful, farming within the conservation zone has to stop, and that involves the entire livelihood of the production team. But he's convinced peasants like Mr. Nong will support his plan if they're given land elsewhere. Mm. He has the peasants on side, but now it's the county administration he has to convince. He goes straight to the top, to Chung Zuo's party secretary, the man who made the county richer. His point is that the county needs to start a comprehensive protection plan this year, a plan that involves the government, the peasants, and widespread education. The party secretary appears very supportive. <laughs> Professor Pan appears to have persuaded the party secretary to accept his plan. Now he wants to ensure the younger generation understands the importance of protecting the animals. The monkeys are a national priority, but environmental issues make a rare appearance in the school curriculum. The children have heard of efforts to save China's most famous protected species, the giant panda, but not the rare creature on their doorstep. In a country where wildlife protection plays second fiddle to the whims of enterprising gourmands and money-hungry poachers, Professor Pan's wish is to set an example. Yoshu The monkeys come down from the mountain to take a closer look at us humans. They're curious like we are. If the county accepts the professor's challenge, someday the monkeys could be leaping down in their hundreds.